Well, I'm Alistair. I'm now 43 years old. I had my first stroke when I was 11 years old, if my memory takes me about that far. Um, and then one at 26, and one at 32, and again at 32. I had leukemia when I was um, nine years old, um, and um, I had an autograph transplant because no one's bone marrow was close enough match to mine. And so a lot of radiotherapy, I had six hours TBI, total body radiotherapy, um, which didn't do much good for my head, um, but it cured, I was cured from leukemia anyway, and I recovered from leukemia and went to a school. I was away at boarding school when I had leukemia, sort of like an hour away in West Sussex. And um, my parents took me to another boarding school in the same town we're living in. And I had my stroke, first stroke one morning. It was Saturday morning in a rowdy music lesson because I was going home and everyone had that going home sort of feeling. And the teacher was playing some funky music and I was tapping my foot along to the music, enjoying it. And the music stopped and yet my foot continued on tapping. So I thought, what? This is a bit very strange occurrence. And um, it was worrying, I was scared, um, but um, it eventually must have stopped because I managed to leave the classroom buried amongst my peers. Um, I didn't want them to notice or the teachers to notice. And, and my memory fades from that point. But then when I went home, um, I was having lunch with my mother and I couldn't hold my cutlery, I kept on dropping it. My mother knew something was up immediately, so she um, drove me up to um, Sutton, uh, the Royal Marsden Royal Marsden Hospital in Sutton. In the conversation, I lose my thread a lot, and um, that's because of strokes. And also, it's difficult to identify exactly what's what because I had so much chemotherapy, so much radiotherapy, and stroke is a, a side effect of that. And I've got many other issues in my body as well. I'm a type 1 diabetic, I've got a sarcoidosis in my lungs. Um, etc etc so it's all these things interacting together so it's quite difficult to pinpoint um, an impact on my stroke solely. I wanted to raise a, as much money as possible for the charity Different Strokes because I was aware of how much support you give people and their families and help them stand back on their feet after a stroke which is from my own experience I know is devastating. I mean it wash, washes my life down way down the sink, the sink each time I've had a stroke so it has the same effect on other people and takes them back to square zero. So I wanted to raise as much money as possible for Different Strokes and also I wanted to experience the wonderful uh, Arcelometal orbit myself. Uh, I'd done an abseil before when I was 13 years old at school in Wales on rock face and the abseil today was much more heinously scary and frightening. In the last half hour I've been fine up until then but dealing with stepping off it was a bit of a nightmare. And I've got a GoPro video so I'll be able to review what I said to the dear lovely lady and on my, to myself and comments on the way down. Um, but yeah so I wanted to raise money for you guys really. Right, my advice to be is you got, I remember you had a heinous, horrid headache that you never had before, it probably experienced before. Um, that will get better over time, it takes time though. Um, also, um, the stroke will, with my strokes, they affected themselves in many ways. Um, my last one, I think, was affected my left side of my body and I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, and the people at the Wolfson Rehab Centre were amazing, OTs and physios and things, and they ad advise you and encourage you to do many exercises, and you don't want to do them, but it's so, so important to do them, because when you have an isochemic stroke like myself, the blood spills out of the vein in your head and kills all the cells, and the cells around it, as I understand from my stroke doctor, um, take on the new meaning of what the old path has just died and your stroke did and the more repetitive you are and whatever your physio tells you to do it's so important to do that because your new cells that take over the role will learn. Um, be positive and don't stop doing what you enjoy doing um, and also um, um, do everything yourself that you're able to because that's so important to keep your self-esteem. You have low points, you have high points and it will 
um, also help your stroke recovery as well as keep up your um, self-esteem and um, every, treat every day like it's one at a time so each day as it comes as, and if you have a bad day don't worry about it because the next there's the next day and it'll be a fresh new day from the start and it will hopefully get better over time.